I wanted to ask you if you think we'll ever reach a threshold on human dependence for AI, or if you think it'll just continue to grow exponentially. Um, so I think we already really, really depend on tech, right? Imagine if, you know, if the internet were to shut down, I think people would die. I don't think that's exaggerated. I mean, but, but, but seriously, if think about, you know, how we get food, supply chain, healthcare. If the internet were to shut down, I think that will lead directly to, you know, um, uh, what will happen to our water system, right? The healthcare system. Uh, so, and I think that technology is very useful. And so long as um, uh, the supplies remain reliable, um, uh, uh, I feel like it is 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 okay to depend on technology. I mean, heck, I wish I don't know. Without dependence on the agriculture system, would how many of us would be able to farm and hunt enough food to keep ourselves alive? Maybe, maybe we could do it, but it's pretty challenging. So I think dependence on tech seems it's going to keep on growing for a while. But do you think there'll be a moment where there's a difference in that relationship, not just in degree but in kind? You know, the famous singularity point where we don't even know what we don't even know about how technology is developing. Do you think that? Will occur. Yeah, you know, the technological singularity is one of those hypey things that I don't even know what it means. So I, 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 I it's one of those, it, it's exciting science fiction, but as an engineer and scientist, I don't know how to talk about it. Um, th th it turns out there are a few terms in AI that are vague and undefined, but there are a lot of emotions, a lot of excitement about it. Um, and I, I don't really know how to think about those things in a systematic, rational way. But I, I think our, I think our te actually there's actually one thing. I think that our our relationship with technology is changing rapidly. Um, today, you know, I probably use uh, chat uh, you know, GPT four or Bing or uh, Bard pretty much every day now, and so the workflow of many people have changed. Right? Yeah. I think it keeps on changing. And do you have a view? I know this is also might be more of one of these sort of hot topics that's th th not substantive, substantive, but on the consciousness of AI, that AI will it become conscious? Yeah, so the, the, the thing about consciousness is, is an important philosophical question, but I don't know of any test for whether something is conscious or not. So I think it's important philosophy, and philosophy is important, but as an engineer and scientist, I don't know. There is no definition for what is, what is conscious or not, which, and, and thus we can kind of debate it you know, at length. And, and the, 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 there's actually one, one other recipe formula for hype, which is if someone comes up with a very simple definition for consciousness, so someone says, oh, if you can recognize yourself in the mirror, you're conscious. I made that up. It's not a good definition for consciousness. But you're aware of yourself, see yourself in the mirror. Then it's actually pretty easy to get a robot to recognize itself in the mirror. And then you can generate newspaper headlines saying AI has achieved consciousness. What it did for your kind of, you know, silly little, for your very small definition of consciousness, but that gets misinterpreted by the broader public for a grander statement than it is. So I see some of that hype in, in AI as well.